leg drag, and then also from our opener, we can really switch to leg drag uh, uh, any time in there as long as we can steer the guy's hips. I'll show you what I mean. Um, we'll do with the first sequence first. I'm here and I'm headed past, but Eric's good at jujitsu. He puts both hands on my shoulders and gets me with an outside 90 frame. I know if I stay here for not very long, if the guy's good, his other foot's going to come over my shoulder and push at the inside of my shoulder. He's going to be able to re square up. He's going to get all this framing option again. He's going to be in a good spot to try to re get like a nice juicy entrance for him. I don't want to give him that option. So I head over. He puts his hands on my shoulders. I'm going to make his body switch to knee smash side. So instead of pushing his knee this way, I go under his knee and I just send it all the way away. And just like you're flipping a tire, you can use the balls of your feet to help spring and explode to send the knees away. Uh, sometimes I'll send it and get all the way in. A lot of times I'll send it and go back into leg drag. So I have the hands on my shoulder, I'll lift the knee up to start heading back into leg drag. So again, I showed a uh, uh, throw by is what I want. The guy's intercepting my throw by, so I can start. He's say this leg's coming around the corner to lift. I can already start lifting this leg, stepping my knee in, and pressing the knee to try to get it to guarantee to go to my stomach. Eric starts pushing on my face or something. That's what I'm switching to. And then from here, he can frame. He can start to get his knee to come out, but I just keep turning on the outside of his leg so he never can quite get there. And then he's bumping in a really strong cross face. Uh, Second one, I'm trying to turn the corner on this guy. Eric pulls his knees close to him. So I'm like, okay, sweet. I'm going to invade them. You're, you're leaving me here. Eric's got a real nice defense for the, the knee cut. His arm under his shin. He's grabbing his other knee, makes it in. Ah, God, he's got a nice defense. I mean, I could frame too. I just don't keep them really far away from me anymore. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the knee snatch side. And this time we're going to say it's successful. I get that knee to get snared underneath my stomach. Sweet, we're going to transition to leg drag again. Leg drag is the strongest thing from knee smash side. So if I really get the leg buckled down, I just want to get back to leg drag. It's like a, this guy's a motherfucker. He's like another guy that wins a bunch of black belt divisions and stuff. Uh, once I get the leg drag, I feel like I'm going to be able to handle almost anybody. So for here, switch to leg drag. Very important, I lift my knee and I put it on top of his hip. So it's going to give me the right angle to go in step to in step. Because I, if I try to step out to the leg drag now, Eric's just going to endlessly follow me with his toes. I can't unhook. So when I'm in, my foot here won't reach correct. My knee goes on top of his hip. You see it kind of makes a little triangle with our, with our bent knees. And then my knee is just going to simply jump and skim over the shin to go directly to leg drag. And then from leg drag, grab the back of the head. And then again, just keep turning corners. He's framing on me, pushing away. He's trying to flare his knee back up. His knee's starting to get in some. Just keep turning the corner on everything. And I'm pressing a cross face, or if Eric decides to go, turtle. Take that hip. Can I see the hole? Yeah. So, the guy's down. If I have feet pushing on me, well, then I'm pulling him past. I'm sending the knees past if Eric's feet keep pushing. Keep pushing, I'm looking to push. I'm looking to push. Eric's knees curl to his chest. I'm opening inside track and baby. I'm in a spot, I'm in a nice spot. Uh, if Eric tries to, to, to sit up, maybe he's trying to get his arm under my leg. Sweet grip me, I can drop my forehead in. I can really press him away and make it difficult for him to come forward. But then Eric knows that I'm trying to knee cut. He's making it harder for me to knee cut. So I'm going to take a knee snatch. If this knee gets trapped in the knee, that is money. I'm clamping, I'm clamping, I'm clamping and trying not to let the knee up. And then my knee goes to the hip crease to go to the catch, to the hip crease. And then my knee can jump. And then once my knee jumps, Eric's going to be trying to spring the way, keep me out of here. But if my arm is behind the back of his neck, I'll just turn the corner on him. And then we're in a really strong spot.